Hi hey guys, so for this video, I'm going to be optimizing my new PC and showing how I get so much FPS with it. Now, before you say anything, yes, I know the main reason I get so much FPS is the fact that I have insane specs. I'll have a full list of my PC specs down below, as well as a link to the video where I built it. Definitely go check that out. Anyways, even with my ridiculous over-the-top PC, there is still a lot I can do to boost its performance. I can tweak my Windows settings, which I have not done yet. I can change around my NVIDIA graphic options. I can even go into the BIOS and optimize stuff there. Thus, because you've all been asking to see what I do to my own PC and how I optimize it, that's exactly what this video is going to be. I'll walk you guys through every FPS boost that I do, and then once I'm done, I'll go into Arena and try to catch a dub on 1000 FPS. Oh, I'm also going to show a really useful input delay trick that I don't think I've seen anywhere else on YouTube. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. Alright, so I'm in a blank creative world because I just want to show how much FPS I get currently. Whoops, I gotta make sure to turn this to unlimited. Looking straight up right now, I get about 650, maybe 600 FPS. That is pretty insane, especially considering the fact that I'm recording with a face cam, but it could be better. Let me also show the latency real quick. This just shows how much input delay I have, and it's around 3.8, a little less than 4 milliseconds of response time. As you guys can see, I'm currently on my desktop. My background is the same Nyx one that I've always had. It is technically a little different. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but it's a little higher quality, a little bit of a different design. Overall, it's pretty much the same. Regardless, the first thing I'm going to do to optimize my windows is come down to the little windows button on the bottom left, click my settings, and then I'm going to go to the system settings. These are the first batch of settings that I'm going to optimize. They're not the most important, but they do help out a lot. To begin, Let's go to notifications and actions. It's the third tab down. What I'm going to do is turn notifications off. I do not want any annoying notifications as I play. Not only are they just annoying because they pop up on your screen, they make you tab out, but they also take up a lot of CPU usage, which is not good. After that, we have focus assist, which is an even more annoying notification. I'm also going to turn this off. Third on the system settings list is power and sleep. For this, you're going to want to go to the right where it says additional power settings. Click that. Then instead of selecting the balance plan, which is not bad for gaming, we want the best, which is high performance. If you do not have this option, you're probably going to have to look under the show additional plan settings. There's a little drop down on the right. Just click that and it should appear. If it does not, just reset your PC. It should pop up. Once you have this selected, it's very important to make sure you hit the change plan settings, click change advanced power settings, and make sure two of these settings are correct. These are the wireless adapter settings, hit that, go to power saving mode, and make sure it says maximum performance. The other one is under PCI Express, it's called link state power management. You do not want this on moderate power savings, you want this off. These look correct, I'm going to apply it, press OK, and I'm all set. Back to the system settings, we were at power and sleep, I'm now going to go to storage and turn storage sense off. You can read up on what storage sense does, it basically frees up space for you automatically, which is pretty useful. However, we are Fortnite gamers, we need all of our resources for Fortnite, so turn storage sense off. The rest of these down here, like tablet, multitasking, are not too important. If they have an on or off switch, I would just suggest turning them off, like snap windows. It does not really do anything, I'm just going to turn it off to be safe. Now that all this is complete, we're going to go back. You should see all of your window settings again, and go down to gaming. The first gaming setting you'll see is Xbox Game Bar. This is the most important one that you want to turn off. Game Bar is really not good, it destroys your FPS, please turn it off. Captures is the same story. Even even audio, just turn it off, we do not need that. The one setting that you can leave on is called game mode. I've heard from different people that it's good, I've also heard that it's bad. In my experience, I do like it, so test both out yourself and let me know which one you use because I leave it on. Last is Xbox networking, this is not important because I do not have an Xbox, just leave it alone. To continue on with our Windows settings, even though it's not technically in the Windows settings, I'm going to come down to the Windows Cortana search and type in control panel. Once the app pops up, click it. You should see all of these settings options and you're going to want to hit system and security. From there, hit system. On the left, hit advanced system settings and at the top, hit the advanced tab. From here, under the performance, hit settings and then depending on your preference, you can either do adjust for best performance or do custom. I'm going to hit the best performance one because I want to get the most FPS. It really does not look that good like I'll show you. You can see some of the text looks different. If I go to the settings, it looks a little weird, but it does give you the best FPS. 
OBS. Oh, and before I forget, you can always just hit custom and then choose whatever you want enabled. Usually let Windows choose what's best for my computer is what's default. So if you want to go back, just hit that. I'm now going to X out of the system properties, X out of the control panel, come down again to the Windows Cortana search and type in graphic settings. You should see a system settings window. Hopefully it shows up. And once you click it, this page will appear. I really have not messed around with the GPU scheduling. I've heard a lot about it, but I've never tried it myself and I kind of don't want to restart my PC yet. What I came here for is the graphics performance preference. I'm going to hit browse. I'm then going to select the disk that Fortnite is on. It is my C drive, program files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game. There's a lot of folders I know, binaries, Windows 64, and then I'm going to hit the first one, which is Fortnite client Windows 64 dash shipping. That is the most important one that you're going to want to add. Just click the add button. And then with it, you're going to want to hit option and click high performance. You can see my GPU, the big bad 3090. I'm going to save it as high performance and this should get me much better FPS. Basically, the final window setting I'm going to adjust is within my file explorer. I'm going to have to go back to where I was, so I'm going to click this PC, the drive Fortnite's on, program files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Windows 64, and I'm going to scroll down to exactly what we had. Fortnite client, Windows 64 dash shipping. Once you select it, you're going to want to right click, go down to properties, and at the top, hit compatibility. What you're looking for is the disable full screen optimizations option. I'm going to hit that, apply it, press OK, and I'm done. That's basically the final window setting. Now I'm going to go into my NVIDIA control panel. To do that, I'm going to right click on my desktop, go to NVIDIA control panel. Pretty self-explanatory. On the left, go up to 3D settings and click adjust image settings with preview. This will take you to this page, which I've not changed at all yet. And I'm going to select use the advanced 3D image settings, not use my preference emphasizing, hit the middle one. Once you do that, hit take me there. And now we're going to change all of these starting at the top image sharpening turn it off and i'm also going to not hit gpu scaling do not check that box ambient occlusion i'm going to leave off anisotropic filtering i'm going to turn that off anti-aliasing off anti-aliasing gamma correction off anti-aliasing mode off cuda dash gpus you want to select all of them i only have one so that's okay dsr factors off low latency mode you can leave this on but fortnite does overwrite it if if you use the Fortnite settings that I recommend, so I'm just gonna leave it off. Max frame rate, I'm gonna leave off. Multi frame sampled AA, off. OpenGL rendering GPU, I'm gonna select my 3090. Power management mode, this one is really important. You're gonna wanna have this on prefer maximum performance. I talked about this in my video on the new Nvidia settings, but if you do not select prefer maximum performance, you are not going to get really low input delay. After that, preferred refresh rate, highest available. Shader cache, we can finally turn a setting on, so I'll leave that on. Texture filtering, I'll leave that on as well. Texture filtering, LOD bias, allow. Texture filtering, filtering quality. I want that on high performance. We need the best FPS. Try linear optimization. Turn that on as well. Threaded optimization. Also on. Triple buffering. Off. Vertical sync. Heck no. And then you can basically leave these as default. The second to last setting we're going to look at is through the task manager. So I'm going to hit control alt delete. That'll bring it up. I do not have Fortnite running, so I'm going to run it really quickly. I'm just going to minimize it because I need to see it in the task manager. <coughs> you can see it's running, which is what we care about. Go and select it in the processes. It should be at the top because Fortnite takes up a lot of CPU usage. I'm going to right click, go down to go to details, and then on the Fortnite client Windows 64 shipping.exe, I'm going to right click that, go to set priority, and make it to high. It's going to ask you if you're sure you want to change that priority. I said yes, and now it should be high priority. I promise this is the last optimization. It's one that's actually not through Windows or even through Fortnite technically. It's in your BIOS, but I'm going to show what I mean first. I'm going to again press Control alt delete bring up my task manager, and I'm going to go to Performance on the top tab. As you can see, this shows my CPU. What I care about here is memory because my speed says 2133 megahertz. That is a lot slower than what I paid for. The RAM that I have is 3600 megahertz, which is a lot 
lot faster than this. Basically, when you first build your PC, your motherboard doesn't know what your RAM is, it doesn't know what it can support, so it usually sets the clock speed much lower than what you have. The problem with this is that Fortnite is very CPU dependent, which means it's also RAM dependent. If I can just boost this to 3600 megahertz, which is what I paid for, I should be able to get a lot better FPS. Be aware though, the way to do this is through enabling XMP, which is basically overclocking your RAM. I do not advise anyone to do this if you're nervous, if you do not know a lot about PCs. It can make your PC unstable, but you can always just lower it down and fix it. I really just do not want a bunch of comments saying that you have a black screen and that I messed up your PC. Please do not do this unless you know what you're doing. Alright boys, so right now I'm on my camera, currently at my setup. Got my PC running. The reason I cannot record this through OBS is because I have to go to my BIOS. Basically, I'm gonna go restart. As soon as I see my motherboard, AKA my Asus logo, I'm gonna spam F12. That should bring me to my BIOS. There it is, spam F12. Well, that didn't work. All right, so I pressed the wrong button. I was pressing F12 when I should have been pressing F2. Anyways, these are my BIOS. I could technically overclock my GPU or CPU here, but I'm mainly gonna do the RAM. At the top, AI tweaker. I'm then gonna change AI overclock tuner to XMP1. Make sure you do not exceed the maximum speed that you have on your RAM. DDR4, 3600 megahertz. I could technically go higher, but that would not be good for my PC. From there, I'm gonna hit exit, save changes, and reset. Press OK, and now my PC will reboot, hopefully with my RAM at its best speed. Boys and girls, I think I got scammed because every time I tried to do 3600 megahertz, my PC would just go into safe mode, meaning it would not work. What did was 3200 megahertz, which is better than 2133. I'm guessing I just had to play around with the voltage and some other settings a little more. We're gonna have to settle for 3200 megahertz, not 3600. Feels bad, man. Now for the moment of truth, we will see how much FPS I get. After all of those optimizations, it should be a lot. The big reveal, looking straight up. Wow, almost 100 more FPS, around 750, and I'm not even overclocking my CPU. Not too shabby, wow. I think it's about time to go and kill some noobs. If you're wondering why I only have 4,500 arena points, it's because I'm a noob who does not have time to grind. I also don't have the willpower to play arena. It's okay though, because we about to catch a dub at Risky and get Champion League. Poor guy. There's so much shield here. Holy. Can't even take it all. Upgrading to the god pump. There we go. These dudes are fighting like weirdos. <laughs> Let me get some wood right now. Easy rotate. I think I'm gonna take these to rotate. Oh no, I'm joking. No, I choked. Oh, he was 190 HP. Feels bad. I can't even win on a thousand FPS, boys. I'm such a noob. Well, GG. 
Overall guys, that is what I do to get 1000 FPS in Fortnite Battle Royale. If you enjoyed the video or you learned something new, do be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel somewhere down here, and to turn on my post notifications. Shout out to everyone on the screen for using code Jarian. I appreciate each and every one of you. What I'm going to do for the PC giveaway is give away a pre-built from NZXT. It's going to be their streaming PC, which is around $1,500, so it is a really, really good PC. I'll have all the details for it probably in the next video or two. Otherwise, that's it for me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later!